Well, now to a story you will only see here on News 2. 12-year-old Aubrey Sovi has not let anything stop her from following her dream. She has danced competitively. She's even a black belt in Taekwondo, and she plays drums in her middle school band. And she does it all without hands. News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry spoke with Aubrey about her new one-of-a-kind prosthetic made just for her by university students. It's just one small part of me. It doesn't make me me. Aubrey Sovi plays the snare drum in her middle school band. And just like any 12-year-old girl, she loves makeup, art, dance, and music. The only difference is she's doing it all without hands. Aubrey was born as a triple congenital amputee with a loss of limbs below both her elbows and a foot missing toes. So while maybe her peers were completing tasks faster, Aubrey wasn't going to let any task stand in her way. Um, it definitely was a challenge to learn, but um, as time went on, it became easier and easier until it wasn't a difficulty at all. She used a spoon and kept soup on the spoon and flipped it around, and I thought, well, she can do that. She can do anything. From a young age, Aubrey learned how to do everyday tasks like makeup, cooking and even playing the snare drum using the crease in her elbow. But holding the drumsticks in the crease of her elbow wasn't getting the sound that she was wanting. It's kind of difficult because the, act, like the drum would start slip, the sticks would start slipping. And the sound wasn't firm enough. That's when a group of 10 Tennessee Tech University students in the Tech Engineering for Kids program stepped in and began working on 3D prosthetics for Aubrey, made specially for drums. She likes to play the drums. And so you start thinking, okay, so she plays the drums, does she also play like mallets? Will she play like a xylophone, something like that? So like, are we gonna have to have, is it gonna have to be able to hold different handles? How is it gonna be like secure to the hand? Like all of these are questions that we're kind of thinking through. They said, no, 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 we're just going to uh, uh, <laughs> uh, make the final product 3D printed. And that's when I sort of said those infamous words. I said, there's a one in a million chance that that'll work. But I said, but you know, give it a try. The students spent a full semester working with Aubrey to get measurements and preferences before heading back to the lab for research and development. The students also waited hours for each drafted version on the 3D printer. They're just looking at it like, wow, we just accomplished this. The final product was durable yet flexible, allowing for drumstick attachments for both arms, giving the sound Aubrey was hoping for. I had hope to be able to continue this. Aubrey tells me in the future she plans to play a full set of drums with her new prosthetics and in the fall the tech engineering for kids program will serve 12 to 15 kids and families with needs similar to Aubrey's for more information on their program you can visit our website at wkrn.com mark